Welcome back to my Tesla's experiments. This is Roy back again. Today we're going to focus a little bit on the ground. And what I mean by ground, uh, I'll start off by explaining this to you, then the experiment. So basically here we have three wires and they're all earth ground. Okay, I'll show you where they connect. One right here is a rebar in the ground. Over here, right there, is three quarter or one inch, three quarter copper tubing shoved down in the ground. And then the other one is this one. It's a grounding rod. Okay, ground the rod in. I also got a PVC one, but it's not running to that leg right now. Okay, so there's the ground. So I'm going to go ahead and use 15,000 volts. I'm going to throw it into my hairpin. And I got the wire running over here to my glass capacitor. Now, the experiment here was, I've been into this whole thing with the ground for, for a while now, and I believe that if you tease the ground in the right manner, you could get the energy to come up from the ground. Now, it's hard to believe because we stand on the ground and, you know, it seems harmless. But everything gets absorbed to matter and the ground happens to be matter. So it's filled with a lot of charge, not only to keep the matter it's itself intact, there's a charge base to it, but also the absorption and the push of electrons through all that matter uh, to get back down, I guess, to the center of the earth where the core is. Which I believe the core is hollow. Like a air bubble in a pool. And then around that hollow air bubble, you have molten steel or whatever. And then on top of that, you have a crust of steel or whatever and then you start your cool down layers up to the top of the planet if you disagree leave your comments explain why you don't think it's like that but i believe it is like that and this little experiment here is i'm going to throw that hairpin circuit directly just on one side i'm only using one side of that hairpin which I believe is the, hmm, you know, the hairpin, each side of the coil, or not the coils, each side of the capacitor, each one of these are capacitors that I built. I built in a built-in uh, spark gap in between them. So I'm coming off of one. But one thing I noticed about the NTS, this one's 30 milliamps, and 15,000 volts. Well, it fluctuates each side as a positive and negative. So I really can't tell which side would be a positive and negative to hook it up, but I can tell you that each side is rotating because you have two separate coils in there connected in the middle. So let's just say one side is hooked up. Um, on From the uh, transformer, one leg goes to this capacitor, one leg goes to this capacitor. The capacitors are made with salt water, wine bottle in the middle with salt water, and oil on the top. And uh, I'm going to put some air on the spark, and I can fluctuate the gap on the spark. And I'm going to force a lot of energy, radiant energy. This ain't just, this ain't like taking 15,000 volts from the, M the NTS and just bringing it over here. That would be silly, stupid, and why even do it? But this is more so taking radiant energy, and because of the oscillation that goes in between the two capacitors,